Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick White. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, and I have playlists for all the hacker rank and leak code solutions. I'm doing interview preparation kit, binary tree, binary search tree, lowest common ancestor. So I did all the binary tree problems on leak code at one point. Uh, I have videos with all of those, and this one wasn't on there. This is actually an interesting one. Um, you're given a pointer to the root of a binary tree and two values, so you need to return the lowest common ancestor of V1 and V2. Um, so what is the lowest common ancestor? Well, they give us a link here. Uh, this article about the lowest common ancestor. In graph theory and computer science, two nodes V and W in a tree. Um, the lowest common ancestor of two nodes V and W in a tree is the lowest or the deepest node that has both V and W as descendants. Okay, so V1 and V2 the lowest common ancestor is the deepest node that has V1 and V2 as descendants. So in the example we're given here, in the diagram above, the lowest common ancestor of 4 and 6 is 3. So it's the deepest node that has 4 and 6 as descendants. So we're given two values, 4 and 6, deepest node that has them as descendants. 2 has them as descendants, but it's not the deepest node. 5 is the deepest node, but it only has 6 as a descendant and not 4. Do you understand? Deepest node. So how do we do this? Um, well, there's a, it's pretty simple, actually. So to do this, we're given these two values. We're given the root of the tree. Um, first thing you, got, you need to realize is the deepest node that has the two values as the descendant is going to be on... We're going to have to traverse towards those nodes because obviously the descendant is going to be either left. It's you're going to have one node as the left child and one node as um, one not left child. One one value is going to be on the left subtree. One value will be on the right subtree no matter what, right? And um, so that means we're going to have to traverse towards these values. So in a binary search tree, we already know this. The bigger values are found on the right and the smaller values are found in the left uh, subtree, right subtree, left subtree. Um, so if we have our, if our values that we're given are greater in value than the roots value, then we're gonna traverse on the right side. If the values are on the left, then we'll traverse on the left. So pretty straightforward there. And then once we hit a condition where, let's just, let's just start coding. Okay, we already have the code here, but let's just recode it, okay. Um, so like I said, if v1, so if the value, we're given these integer values, is greater than root.data, because we use dot .data in this, Lee codes dot val usually, but um, in here it's root.data, and v2 is greater than root.data, that means that these values are greater than the roots value, and that means we're going to traverse, so return LCA, on the right side, root.writes, v1, with the same values, uh, because the values are on greater in binary search tree, they're on the right subtree. Okay, and then just the reverse of that, obviously. I think you guys get it at this point. I just wanted to emphasize that. So v2 is less than root.data. If v1's less than root.data and v2 is less than root.data, we'll traverse the left subtree. Um, yeah, just the same thing. Return on root dot left. Same values, right? And then let's return root if these conditions don't get hit. And I'm going to run this, and then I'll explain why we just return root and how that kind of works um, after I run this. And we have some success here, hopefully. Very awesome. We passed all the test cases. Very simple solution. It's an easy problem here. Um, so why do we return root? Well, that means that these conditions weren't hit. And in that case, we would have been traversing down the tree and we would see that V1 now, if, if these conditions are hit, that means that one of, uh, multiple, one of multiple other conditions was hit. And you, know, you could account for those conditions and then return root, but if you just return root, it'll be fine anyway. Um, because it accounts for everything, so you might as well just return root. If v1 is less than root.data and v2 is greater than root.data, basically the condition, we're hitting an ending condition where we found a node where the val the left value, so v1, not, it doesn't have to be the left value. We found a node, we're passed in root, where v1 is now either in the left or right, 
and V2 is now either V2 and V1 are in the different uh, ones in the left subtree, ones in the right subtree. There we go. V1 and we've hit a we've hit a root where we know that V1 is either less. Oh my god, V1 and V2 are in different subtrees. The value that's all I can say. Uh, I'm I must not be that good at explaining it, but the the values are either one of the values is less than the root dot data. One of the values is greater than the root dot data. There you go. One's on the left and one's on the right. And that means we would have hit past these conditions. Um, we wouldn't, they wouldn't get executed. We'd return the root cause we actually hit a condition where we found that. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Cause we, we account for in the problem that it will work. Um, the, it, it's going to work out. Otherwise, we might have to do some error things like we traverse the whole tree and we don't actually... Um, these values like aren't even in the tree or something like that. So uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys understood that. Uh, I know this, the uh, my, my brain's been kind of tired today. Um, but, you know, I, I, think I, I think I did fine. You know, lowest common ancestor, deepest ancestor that contains both the descendants. So if it's four and six, then it will be three. Um and you just got to find that so you just traverse towards the nodes and when you see that um one node is in the left subtree and one is in the right then you found it um you know and that's it so thank you guys for watching please check out the other videos sorry if you don't understand it i i mean i'm trying i tried to you know articulate as well as i can but that's all i got so thanks for watching check you guys next time